Hello everyone, this is Karthik Shrivastav. I am a candidate master on Code Forces, 5 star on Code Chef, ICPC Kanpur Mathura Regionals 2020 Rank 27, Global Rank 251 in Google Kickstart around day 2021. And today I am going to discuss the problem 01 subsequences, which came in October Kokov 2021. The difficulty level of the problem is easy and the prerequisites is sorting. So now let's move on to the problem statement. You are handed a binary string S, but not in any ordinary form. Instead of being directly given the value of S, you are given an array C of size N, representing the 0, 01 compression of S. This means S first contains C10 characters, then C21 characters, then C30 characters, and so on. For example, the array 2343 3 correspond with the binary string 2 zeros, 3 ones, then 4 zeros and 3 ones. You are allowed to modify S by swapping elements of C. More specifically, you are allowed to swap CI and CJ as long as CI and CJ both encodes blocks of the same character. CI and CJ would both include blocks of the same character if I and J are of the same parity. Now, for example, from C equal to 2, 3, 4, 3, you can swap C1 and C3 because both of them encodes block of zeros turning C2, 4, 3, 2, 3 and S2 four zeros, three ones, two zeros, and three ones. However, you cannot swap C1 and C2 because C1 encodes a block of zeros by C2 encodes a block of ones. Performing the swapping operation in any way as many times as you want, including zero times, so that the final string has as many zero one subsequences as possible. As a reminder, a subsequence of a string is a sequence that can be derived by deleting zero or more characters without changing the order of the remaining characters. You need to find any optimal array C for which the number of zero one subsequences will be the largest possible. So let's move on to the simple explanation of the problem statement. Let's begin. Okay. Now, here we are given a string, but not in any normal form. We are given a string in the form of an array of size n. Now, suppose that our array is this c1, c2, c3 and c4. Then this represents a string which consists of c1 zeros, c2 ones, c3 zeros and c4 ones. Now, the number of 0, 1, c subsequences in this particular string can be calculated as if we select a 0 from this particular segment then we are having C1 options to select the 0. Then we have to select a 1 after that. We can select a 1 from the subsegment C2 or we can select a 1 from the subsegment C4. So we will be having C2 plus C4 choices to select a 1. And we can even select a 0 from the subsegment C3. Then we would be having only C4 choices to select a 1. If we select a 0 from this segment, then we would be having only choices from this segment for 1s. So this would be the number of 0, 1 subsequences for this pattern. Now let's calculate this for a larger pattern. If the pattern is this C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6 and C7. The first one is a segment of zeros. The second one is a segment of ones. The third one is a segment of zeros. The fourth one is a segment of ones and so on. Now, if I select zero from the first segment, then this particular segment can be selected as a segment of one. Any one can be selected from this segment. A single one can be selected from this segment. A single one can be selected from the sixth segment as well. So the number of choices for ones would be C2 plus C4 plus C6. Now, if I select a one, if I select a zero from this particular segment C3, then one can be selected from either C4 or C6. Now, if I select a 0 from this particular segment C5, then 1 can only be selected from C6. So this would be the answer for the number of 0, 1 subsequences of this particular compressed 0, 1 string. Now let's observe one thing in these two formulas that I derived. This is the first formula and this is the second formula. You can see that for the first segment of zeros, there are most number of options of 1s. For the first segment of 0, there is C2 plus C4 plus C6 options of 1s, which is greater than that of, let us write it as option 1. 
option for the first segment of 0 is greater than that for the options for the second segment of 0 which is only c4 for c6. Now it is greater than the option for the third segment of zeros. So we can see that the number of options available for the first segment of zeros is greater and the number of options available for the second segment of zeros is, is smaller than that of the first and the number of options available for the third segment of zeros is, is smaller than that of the second. Now based on this observation it would be optimal to have c1 the largest of all the zero segments because if we are having two choices we are having two numbers x1 and y and x2 y if we want to make the product x1 y or x2 y as maximum as possible we have to multiply a number x1 or x2 with this number y and x1 is less than x2 then in order to get more benefit we would multiply x2 with y this would be larger so in the same way since we are having more number of segment of ones here so we would prefer keeping a larger number here so the pattern for the segment of zeros would be something like this the largest segment of zeros should come at the first after that the segment of zeros that should come at the third position should be the second largest the segment of zeros that should come at the fifth position should be the third largest and so on so this is the pattern for the segment of zeros now let's trace out the pattern for the segment of ones from the same formula you can see that for the first segment of one which is c2 we are only having an option of c1 now for the second segment of one which is c4 for the second segment of one which is c4 we are having an option of c1 and we are also having an option of c3 now for the third segment of one which is c6 we are having an option of c1 we are having an option of c3 as well as we are having an option of c5 so in this case for the segment of ones the last segment of one gets the most number of options and the second last segment of guns ones get the least get the lesser number of options and third last segment of ones gets lesser number of options so this would be the pattern in case of the segment of ones so it would be optimal to have the largest segment of ones at the last largest segment of ones at the last or the smallest segment of ones at the first so but the pattern would be something like this so we can say that for the segment of ones they would be in something like this order basically the segment of ones would be increasing in terms of their length and the segment of zeros would be decreasing in terms of their length if we go from left to right if you go from left to right now let's discuss a few sample test cases let us assume that a sample test case is this we are having an array of length 5 and the elements are 1 7 8 4 and 9 okay now we can notice from the formula that we derived above that the segment of zeros should be in decreasing order from L to R. So the first segment of zeros should be 9. This is a segment of zeros. This is a segment of ones. This is a segment of zeros. This is a segment of one and this is a segment of zeros. So the first segment of zeros should be 9. The second segment of zeros should be 8 and the last segment of zeros should be 1. Now from the pattern of the segment of ones we can notice that they are in increasing order. So the first segment of ones should be 4 and the second segment of ones should be 7. Now we can easily calculate the answer for this case. It would be 9 into 4 plus 7 plus 8 into 7 plus 1 into 0. It would be 9 into 11 which is 99 and 8 into 7 which is 56. So this would be the answer for this test case. And we can solve the other test case in the similar manner. So basically what we have to do, we only have to keep the segment of zeros in a decreasing order from left to right and the segment of ones in an increasing order from left to right so this is the approach to solve this question now let's move on to my code here is my code here t indicates the number of test cases n indicates the length of the array i have initialized the answer equal to zero here matching ones stores the number of matching ones for the current segment of zeros and this is the zero array this is the one array and this would be the answer array 
which is the optimal arrangement for which we get this maximum answer. Now I take the input. I take the first variable. Now if the index i is odd, then this is a segment of 0. So I push it back in the 0 array. Else I push it back in the 1 array. Now as I told you, I have to sort the 1 array in increasing order from left to right and the 0 array in decreasing order from left to right. So I did so. After that, I have to create the answer array. I initialize i equal to 0 which is an iterator on the 0 array and j equal to 0 which is an iterator on the 1 array. Now if i is less than 0 dot size, I just push back in the answer array the element of the 0 array. And if j is less than 1 dot size, I just push back in the answer array the element of the 1 array. And I also add to matching ones this particular number 1 of j. Because I will utilize this in calculating the number of 0 1 subsequences. After this, I iterate over the 0 1 array once again. Now i is less than 0 dot size and j is less than 1 dot size. Now the number of matching ones for the current segment of 0 is stored in the variable matching ones. Now if I select any one from these number of ones and a 0 from the current segment of zeros, I would get a 0 1 subsequences. So I would add it in the answer and after that I would decrement the matching ones by 1 of j. And after this, I would just iterate over the answer array, print the answer and print the number of maximal 0, 1 subsequences. So let's try submitting the solution. You can see that the solution got accepted. If you have any doubt regarding this approach, you can ask in the comment section and thank you for watching this video.